Billions of children are locked out of school. If quality, inclusive education, is not promoted as a right but as a trade-off, the global gap between the haves and have-nots, the connected and disconnected, will only widen up as today's health crisis becomes tomorrow's social crisis. We, the youth, call upon you, the leaders of the global education community, to invest in young people and ensure that we will be equal partners in shaping our future. We ask for the opportunity to become the leaders of today and tomorrow. Leaving no one behind has never been as important as today. If our and the next generations are not at the forefront of leading the post-COVID-19 recovery and championing the SDGs, we would already have lost the most important fight for a better future. This is the last decade for achieving the global goals and SDG 4. Let us do it together. We call upon governments, donors, and decision makers too. One, leave no one behind. Those most vulnerable before COVID-19 are more affected now than ever. Second, guarantee adequate financing for education systems, including investment to improve the hardware to achieve connectivity for all and continuous teacher development. Three. Ensure that every teacher is valued with decency and is highly trained to deliver quality distance learning and to be proficient in interactive learning. Four, reset current education systems and make them fit for purpose. We will focus on SDG 4.7 and disseminate the 21st century skills and competencies. Fifth, promote quality-free and public education. That is accessible at all levels, and end student debt. Education is a fundamental human right, not a commodity. Six, narrow the educational divide between and within countries and regions, increasing the weight of education in foreign aid. Seven, invest in and prioritize youth and students through representation. This means bringing young people and students into decision-making processes, and to co-create solutions together for a better future. Eight, invest in and prioritize youth through funding and support. We recommend that at least 50% of all the funding to education should be co-decided with young people and students. We further recommend that young people with boots on the ground to achieve inclusive and quality education should be prioritized with at least 25% of total funding accorded. Lastly, we ask that you aim for a hashtag better normal instead of back to normal, with sustainability being the leading principle.